Coming to DRBU has probably been one of the best decisions in my life. Because what I was doing in my previous degree, I don't think would have been extremely beneficial to my life. I was really at a loss. I felt like I asked myself some difficult questions about what it means just to be in the world. It seems like this place may help me to ask those questions. People don't hold you to having to be the person that you were when you walked in the door. But there's this like underlying, you know, spirit of like, yeah, change, grow, you know, become a better person. Keep learning, you know, keep understanding. People are very accommodating. And is very willing to help you acclimatize to this environment. The deep respect that everyone has for each other. And they'll treat you with the same respect with where you're at as well. Everyone is so sincere here. It's hard to get mad at anyone about anything. I fell in love with the place. It was just one of the most, you know, incredible places I've been. I just feel like there's really good people. They're inspired to be here. They're excited to be here. Like, there's a sense of aliveness. Um, even though we're a really small school, there's a sense of it being really alive. And it's not about the quantity of people. It feels more about the quality of the people. I love Chinese. I'm really excited to take another year. It's not about just learning the words. It's about really understanding where they come from and how they think. I'd say it's a really unique dynamic between ancient and modern. There hasn't really been a break between the classroom space and outside of the classroom space. The classroom experience ends or begins or anything like that. Like the whole thing is the classroom. The professor isn't so much lecturing as they are like facilitating a deep discussion. That method really inspires a sense of confidence that's able to grow. It brings deep conversation. It brings exploring the world as we're in it today based on these texts that are just years old. And I think people that are interested in actually exploring more and going deeper and having more of a richer understanding of, of life and how we work and how we function would really benefit from this program and actually enjoy it. I just feel a lot more possibility. Things felt really closed off for me before I came here. I feel more of a sense of purpose than I had before. And like one of the most fun and I think curious and exciting things about being here is finding a new version of ourselves. It's, it's, it's beautiful and incredible, and I think quite possibly for everyone. Is a tool and a form to be able to fit into to help you, you know, become the kind of person that you want to be. There is definitely here in the customs and in the etiquette something that's very beautiful and something that's permeated with virtue. It is a Buddhist university, yet it's not just a Buddhist program. I'm not Buddhist. I don't have to be Buddhist to attend the school. The BA program has both classes from the Western tradition and classes from the Eastern tradition, but also like science, mathematics, music, writing. In the master's program here, where we study original Chinese texts, Pali texts, so we're exposed to a variety of texts, and many of those texts we really go into quite a bit of depth. I'm surrounded by people who value meditation, value their spiritual exercises. We have the vegetarian diet which supports meditation practice. Coming to DRBU, I think that's the best gift that you can give yourself. Don't be scared away <laughs> by the fact that it's a little bit weird. But just get, like, give it a chance because actually that kind of weirdness that it has is not separate from what is so wonderful about it.